I've showed you so much of the inside of this journal when it's all freshly set up and pristine, but what about when I'm actually using it day to day? Let's spend a week together in my journal and you can see how I really use it. This book is the reason I stay organized and I love bullet journaling and I've been doing it since 2017. I'm gonna take you inside the book with me this week. Today is the 29th of April, 2023. And I thought it would be a cool time to do this because it's a transitional week. So we're starting out in April. We're moving into May. There's some tracker stuff that I always do at the end of every month. So I thought it would be cool to share that with you. We're gonna kick off today by writing a to-do list. It is already 12.30, like after midday, so I'm starting kind of late with getting stuff done today, but it's also Saturday, so I wanted to have a sleep in. I have a little bit of stuff to catch up on in trackers, and of course I have to make my to-do list. I'm gonna set some ideas for next week as well, I think. So let's jump into the journal. Let's go. This is where we're at currently for April. I have obviously been using the journal for the month, and there's a little bit I still need to catch up on, but we're doing pretty well, and we are currently on this weekly. So I'm just gonna start off with filling in my habits. And the mood tracker. I had a very productive day yesterday, so I can cross off a few things that I hadn't yet crossed off from my to-do list from yesterday. It's a running task list for this weekly. And I'm gonna add some more stuff here, so I know what I'm going to be working on today and tomorrow. Gosh, you're good at putting yourself entirely in front of the camera. <laughs> I'm also going to flick over into May now which obviously I haven't filled out any trackers or anything yet because May has not yet begun, but I have filled out my content planner quite a bit. I've scheduled all of my Instagram and shorts content for the month of May, which felt very satisfying. Still plenty more to be scheduled. I haven't got to yet, but I wanted to flip over to the weeklies because I want to fill out the things that I have on for the week. Now that I've worked out what I need to get to work on today, I'm gonna get motivated by this guy. <laughs> Give him some food, I guess, and then get to work, which is boring, so I'm not gonna show you too much of that. <laughs> It's Sunday the 30th of April, and that means it's the last day of April, and that means it's an exciting day for bullet journaling because I have things that I fill out on the last day of every month. One of them is this memory spread right here. It's just one picture that I print with my HP sprocket. That is something that was great in the month. I have a whole year's worth, obviously. I haven't got to these ones yet because it's April. I have some other end of month things too. So I have a cash flow tracker. I'll fill that out tomorrow in case I get any payments or buy anything today, rather than filling it out now and then being like, ah, oh, the things that I didn't, I didn't do. And a social media tracker that I will fill out today. That one I'm less precise about <laughs> than the other one. I also am doing a little weekly spread set up live stream tomorrow. So I want to pencil out the pages that I'm gonna be setting up tomorrow with my live stream friends, because if I go in with no idea, then the live stream will go for like four hours. It's also just a good time to check in with your beginning of the year goals and just see if they still apply and how you're doing on those. So that's what we're gonna do now. Next, I'm updating my social media tracker, and I really like doing this once a month because it feels like I'm not able to get too obsessed with numbers and metrics if I'm only tracking things once a month. I can kind of dip in and out of it and try to stay in that good mental health place of not being too obsessed with social media numbers. I'm also trying to get ahead for next week and write out some to-dos that I'd like to accomplish on certain days. 
And then we're gonna jump into my Instagram saved images and have a look through all of the weeklies that I've saved in the past. I really like to draw inspiration from other people's things. So I have folders for just about everything <laughs> saved on Instagram. It's a really good system. I recommend it. Here's where we're at. We've got my memory, which is going to see the ballet, which was really fun. Updated my social media tracker with current numbers. And if we flip forward to after May, I've gone through and penciled out what's going to happen in the live stream. Don't know how I'll decorate it yet. That's tomorrow's problem. Hi, it's Monday, the 1st of May. And the 1st of May means today we can fill out the things that we couldn't fill out yesterday in those overall beginning of the book trackers. That means the cash flow tracker where I track income and spending. And also that means I'm going to have to do the last little bit of my spending log within my April setup tally up the things and then transfer them into the cash flow tracker. These are spreads that I don't like to share because talking about money is a bit uncomfortable <laughs> on the internet. So I blur out that information usually, but just know that's what I'm going to be doing now. I've also spent quite a bit of time already today in my journal because we had the first of my May weekly live streams this morning, which was so much fun. So we already had this May weekly set up from within the bullet journal plan with me video. And today we added this one and this one. And I didn't mess up the numbers this time, which I messed up the numbers in my April weeklies. So it's nice that that didn't happen again. So tracking all of the things I spent money on through April, which I've done some of already. I just need to make sure that I like finished that page up. And then I go through each category and I add those up and then I transfer them over to the cash flow tracker that's at the beginning of the book. So I'm gonna start on my spending log page and I'm just gonna pull up my bank history <laughs> and work out where I was up to and then just complete that. I quite often end up going off the spending page and needing a little bit more space. Even if all of my purchases fit on the spending page, I usually try to calculate the categories there too. So if they don't all fit, then I will just use like a note section in one of my weeklies that I didn't use. Now that my trackers are all filled in and today is the 1st of May, that means April's kind of done. We can close the book on it. I'm gonna shoot a quick flip through. And I do that on this camera that we're currently filming with. So I'm gonna have to stop you for a sec. I have my tripod set up up here like this. This is how I shoot my top-down content. I got this gorgeous doily set at the same vintage market as I got my May papers from. And I'm so excited I get to style them into this flat lay. lay set up looking a little something like that so I'm gonna stand over here and just turn the pages and that's how this is gonna work it's currently 325 in the afternoon and I still have plenty of stuff to be getting on with, although we're starting to lose the light in this room. So I'm just gonna take my laptop out to the lounge and work from there. I'm gonna edit up that reel that we just did and schedule it into the rest of the month. So I will be bringing my bullet journal so I can put it in my content planner, of course. And from there, I'm just gonna work on, I have a wedding to edit. So that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of today. It's 25 past eight at night on Tuesday, the 2nd of May and I haven't touched my journal once. I just haven't had time, it's been a busy day. So I'm gonna take a sec to fill out my trackers and set up my to-do list for tomorrow. But I also thought I'd take this opportunity to maybe show you inside a different journal that I use concurrently with this one, which is my reading journal because I finished reading Happy Place by Emily Henry yesterday. So I've got four book covers now that I need to print and stick in to go with other books that I've like 
written about in my reading journal. And I need to do a little write up on my thoughts on Happy Place as well. So let's do that together. When I say need to, I don't need to. I want to. Okay, so that's the bullet journal. This is the reading journal. This one is from String in Space. It's the star.grid journal. It is lovely. It has very thick pages, which I think I thought I was, hello, gonna be doing some painting in this book. I haven't really, but most of the time, if it's not like a book that I absolutely love, I will just kind of keep a very simple log of what I read. I've got a post it to tell me which book covers I need to print like this and I do that with my HP sprocket so let's get it out. It's been doing a thing lately where I need to clean the little roller every time I use it so hopefully it won't do that to me today. While we're setting up this reading journal page and getting all of these book covers down wherever they're supposed to go, I just wanted to let you know that I recently launched channel memberships on my channel. So if you're looking for a way to give me a little bit of extra support, perhaps in return for some fun things like members only live streams and access to a private discord server where we chat about all things journaling, you can jump onto my channel, go to the join button that's next to the subscribe button, and find out all about my channel memberships over there. You're also welcome to hit subscribe if you haven't already and if you're enjoying this video and you'd like to see more like it and then you can see stuff from me every week. You can also see it without subscribing but I'd love it if you did subscribe and you can turn on notifications if you like and maybe even like the video but it's up to you. Just wanted to draw your attention to that subscribe button and let you know that it's there. Good morning, it's Wednesday, the 3rd of May. It's actually not morning, it's 12.47 p.m. And I need to go grocery shopping. So I'm gonna do some use of my meal planner that I added for this month to my bullet journal that I haven't used yet, even though it's the third. So let's do that. This is my first time using my meal planner page and I am learning a lot about what I need to change about it for next month. So I need space to do breakfasts. I didn't think I was going to, but I've decided I want to. And then I need space for a shopping list as well so that maybe I can do like a week A, B, maybe C and do a rotating thing and then have a shopping list for each one so that I know what to get maybe. I feel like that could be helpful. It's Thursday the 4th of May and I didn't have a lot of time for journaling on this day so I never filled out any of my trackers but I did sit down for a little while in the morning and mess around with some ideas for my June theme. I love this sticker set I have that has beautiful windows and doorways and castles and I thought the colors would go really well with a watercolor set that I recently got so I just wanted to mess around and see if they would work well together. I also have some white window kind of stickers that I thought might look cool layered over watercolor. I'm not certain that they're going to work with this one. Actually, you guys will know before me because the June plan for me video will be up before this one. So if you're watching this and you want to know what it looked like, I'll pop a link in the cards in the top right corner and in the description for you so you can go and check that out. This isn't something I do every month, but I do it most months where I kind of mood board what I think might work well just with some leftover pages at the back of my journal. And that helps me really solidify the theme that I want to use. I don't always necessarily use a fully realized theme like this. Sometimes I just pick a color scheme and I know there are plenty of people out there who don't use themes in their bullet journal and it works just fine for them. So don't make this make you feel like you need to have a theme every month. I just enjoy it and that's part of what keeps me coming back to my journal. So I keep doing it. I'm actually going to be live streaming this mood boarding and sketching out process for my upcoming layouts for my channel members. So if that's something you'd like to get in on, uh, maybe become a member. I 
I fully intended to film this little flip through on the 5th of May to make it a full solid week for you guys, but it got away from me, so I'm actually filming this kind of mid-month instead. But hopefully that just means you get an even more complete look at the way I use my journal month to month. Things do change sometimes, and when I get busy, I definitely neglect my journal quite a bit. I'm very casual with the way I dip in and out of my bullet journal. But I learned a long time ago that rigid things don't really work very well for me. I need stuff to be flexible and fluid. And that's why the bullet journal system works so well for me, because I can make it what I need it to be at any given time of my life. And if the way you use your bullet journal is different or if the purposes it serves for you are different to mine, that's also fantastic and something to celebrate. So don't compare yourself to me. We're all on our own journeys here. That brings us to the end of this week in my journal. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little insight into how I really use my bullet journal. I think compared to some people out there, I'm a very casual bullet journal user, but without it, I would still be lost. Let me know in the comments down below how you use your bullet journal, especially if it's different to me. I'd love to know how it benefits you and uh, what kind of time you put into it each week. I'll be back again next week. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful week. Stay safe and happy, and I can't wait to see you again then. Bye.